Hi, this is Tammy Hewlett with Swimming in Stamps. And in this video, we're going to add the month to the calendar. And I'm going to show you an offsetting technique that helps you do titles uh, to make them really kind of stand out. So the stamp set that I used for the January on my calendar is called Month by Month. So I'm going to select Stamps under Resource Palette and Browse and it's up at the top so I'm going to select uh, go down to the ends month by month and open that one up and these are alphabetical so I go down to January and drag that over and it's a little too big so I'm going to size it down a tiny bit about like that and I am going to color it first with Stereo Wonder to match my background. So I'm going to I clicked change color over here in the design center and then I'm going to hover over my color and it's going to tell me this is Wisteria Wonder before I click it. So then I'll hit OK. Now you can see on the finished calendar that I kind of have a darker color underneath this. So the way to do that is I've still got January highlighted. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say Edit, Copy, and instead of Edit, Paste, I'm going to hit Edit, Paste in Place. So it puts two copies right on top of each other. Um, automatically the top one is selected, so I'm just going to keep that and I'm going to come over here and select Change Color to the top copy. I'm going to change the color to Elegant Eggplant. Hit OK. Whoops, didn't change, did it? Let's try that one more time. Elegant Eggplant. OK, so it should change this time. All right, now I am going to say Send Backwards. I'm go going up to my Manage Layers icon and I'm going to say Send Backwards. So now it goes behind the Wisteria Wonder copy. Then I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to go down two, whoops, maybe just down one, and over one. So down one, over one. Hmm. You know, to really see this, I think what you would want to do is say View, and we're going to kind of zoom in here. Canvas zoom. Let's go to like 300 so we can really see this. And I'm just using my the little bars here to drag in the right place. I think that's as good as I'm going to get there. So play around with this so it just barely shows that under copy. Now if you accidentally unclick off of that, let's say I clicked on this again, it's going to do the upper one. Oh, and you can see that I just kind of messed it up by clicking on it. Best thing to do in that case is to say Edit, Undo, Move. And we'll put it right back where it was. Um, but let's say you accidentally click on the top one, but you want to move the bottom one. So what you can do again is go over to Layers and take the bottom one and move it up. And then you can click on that one again so that you're clicked and that way when you're moving your arrows that's the one that's moving. Once you've got it selected put it behind the Wisteria Wonder one again until you've got it just right. Then hold down your shift key and select the one on top and you can see that I have two sets of gray squares here. Let me do that again. I'm going to click off. I'm going to put the darker one on top. Click on that. Then I'm going to come over to the layers, drag it underneath. While I have the shift key pushed down, I click on the top one. I get two sets of squares. Then I'm going to say arrange group. What that does is it puts those two stamps together. So now I can move this and they're not going to get 
unaligned. So that's a really good thing to do. The, the next thing I'm going to do too is put it behind this little ribbon layer because I the ribbon is stapled on the tag so obviously I don't want the January to be uh, stamped on top of the ribbon so that orders it properly. Now this zoom tool also helps to really get your fine detailing done. I can also see I'm going to use my keyboard to kind of put my January up a little bit so that it's a little centered. Okay, and when you're done, just hit View, Canvas, Zoom, back to 125, which is the normal, and there we go. We've got the whole January. So that's most of the calendar. I'm going to come back and show you how to add the two snows. That is some advanced cropping. If you're a beginner, you might want to skip that for now because uh, I don't want you to get frustrated. But for advanced digital designers, that's a, I'm going to teach you a really neat way to do some cropping of odd shapes, things that you can't just grab with a square. So I'll see you in the next video.